What does it mean to pay attention? Who do you give your attention to and why? Join me as we reflect on the gift of attention today on the power of spiritual artistry. When someone asks you to give them your undivided attention, what does that mean? Do you stop what you're doing and turn towards them? Do you use all of your senses to tune in to what they are doing or saying? How do you direct all parts of yourself towards listening, watching, observing, memorizing, paying attention? One of my teachers, the artist and author, Day Shilkret, has taught me the importance of the etymology of words. Etymology is the derivation of a word or a chronological account of the birth and development of a particular word or element of a word, often delineating its spread from one language to another and its evolving changes in form and meaning. When we look at the etymology of the word attention, it reads, a giving heed or to give heed to, active direction of the mind upon some object or topic, or literally, to stretch toward. Think about how much power and gravity that gives not only the word, but also the act of giving your attention. So what are you actively directing your mind upon? What are you stretching towards? What a gift to give someone or something. The energy and intention in these actions is profoundly powerful. Sometimes we give our attention in very public ways, like how we physically show up in each other's lives. Maybe you take care of your family's physical needs, like preparing meals, buying clothes, caring for the home that you share. Perhaps you volunteer for a cause that is close to your heart, or you show up for others in their greatest time of need. Often we give our attention in very private ways, like setting intentions through our thoughts and prayers to protect or heal others. You may direct your attention inward to develop practices of self-love, self-forgiveness, and kindness that ripple out into all of your relationships in ways that aren't always visible to the eye, but are felt by the heart. Collective intentions and prayers are always multiplying and building in energy. Can you stop for a moment and reflect on all of the people on this planet who ever prayed for you or are praying for you right now? Starting with your ancestors, your teachers, your family, your friends, your community, your colleagues, strangers across the globe who are using their attention for peace in this world. Can you feel it? However you may choose to direct your attention, know that you are giving that person, that cause, that belief, that relationship, or that place a priceless gift. Each moment that we give our attention and stretch towards the people and things that we love and want to see flourish in this world, we are not only contributing to, but also amplifying the kind of world that we'd like to be a part of. We are co-creating it. We are stretching towards a more beautiful future together, just as the flowers stretch up and reach towards the sun. May we be generous with the gift of our attention for the greater good of all beings. May we be conscious of the generous attention that is bestowed upon us at all times. May our attention uplift one another in our greatest time of need. And so it is. I'm Reverend Renee Rossi. Thank you so much for joining me today on The Power of Spiritual Artistry.